Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be covering the effect scene in Baby Keem's Family Ties music video. The effect where he's dancing and he kind of punches through into a color gradient and there's an outline of him. So we're going to shoot it right now then we're going to rotoscope it and then create the color gradient. Let's get into it. All right, before we get started with the editing, I just wanted to go over a couple things. Baby Keem's effect isn't perfect, but it's close. They did at least two different shots, and one was him walking by the ballerinas, and the other one was on a green screen. And the reason I say it's not perfect is because that footage of him with the ballerinas is from a high up angle looking down, and then the green screen footage is level with him looking straight at him. And of course, when you do it in two different shots, it's going to be almost impossible to line it up perfectly. Now this might be a stylistic choice or maybe they didn't consider it when they were shooting. So be aware what method you want to do because you could definitely use a green screen and the reason that I rotoscoped is because my green screen is just not big enough for me to walk across for a little bit of a duration and I'm pretty tall so it would either fit my entire body but I couldn't really move or I'd have to do it lengthwise in which case I could actually walk and then you know I would still end up having to rotoscope so I just rotoscoped. All right. Now we're gonna get to editing and I'm going to open up the After Effects beta. And the reason I'm doing that is because every time I try to rotoscope in the original After Effects, it crashes immediately. And for some reason, the After Effects beta actually works with my computer. So if you run into that same issue, you can download the After Effects beta from Adobe. All right, import your footage to After Effects. And the first order of business is to make a cut where you want the effect to start. Now on that layer that you just cut out, you're going to double click on that and open up the layer panel. And now you're going to go up to the top and click on the roto brush. Now, if you've never rotoscoped, here's the basics of rotoscoping. Basically, you're going to paint inside the character or object that you want to isolate. And if After Effects selects more than that character or object and you want to correct that, you'll hold Alt, click and drag in that area that needs to be corrected. And you'll see that that brush tip turns from green to red. And then that will get rid of that area that you don't want included. And then if you hold Command, click and drag up or down, that will change the size of the roto brush. And if you want to see a more in-depth version of me rotoscoping, you can watch this tutorial here. Once you've rotoscoped the layer throughout the duration of the effect, you're going to go back into that composition and then search for the effect called fill and then add it to that rotoscope layer and change that fill color to black. And now you probably don't see anything on your footage, so we're going to create a new white solid by right clicking down below and going to new solid, change the color to white. And this is so that we can see how good of a rotoscope we got. Now rotoscoping can be tedious sometimes and you can also get some choppy isolations of your subject. You'll have these artifacts and ripples going through them and it can look pretty ugly. One way I could have made my rotoscope a little better is if I dressed a little brighter so I don't blend in as much with the floor and then have a little bit better of lighting so that I stand out from the background because that will help After Effects determine what subject you want isolated and what you don't. Chances are you'll probably have to click back into your rotoscope layer and fix some of the blemishes that are there because when you're rotoscoping for that many frames, it's easy to miss something. Also, you can change the roto brush quality from standard to best, and that will give you a more defined and precise roto. Go back into your composition and duplicate that rotoscope layer. And then on one of those layers, you're gonna get rid of the rotoscope and the fill effect and make sure that the one that you just did that to goes on the bottom layer because now that's gonna be acting as the clean plate. Now we're gonna create that color gradient. So right click down below and create a new solid and then choose whichever color you wanna go with. And then we're gonna reposition it over off to the right side and then duplicate that solid and reposition it to move down a little bit. Then we're gonna search for the fill effect and apply it to that duplicate and color match it with the original solid. And then we're just going to lower the saturation slightly. And then you'll repeat this process till you have the color gradient you want. Just make sure that you're making the rectangles all the same size. I made six rectangles and I boosted the Y value by 180 each time. So in terms of the layering of the rectangles, it should start with the original, the duplicate, the next duplicate, the next duplicate. So the very last rectangle you're creating should be the top layer when it comes to all of those rectangle layers. Now that you've got your color gradient, go back to your rotoscope pre-comp and you're going to create a mask that is set to add 
around the color gradient. So now when your character punches into that gradient, it's just a black silhouette. And then that's it. That's how you do that punching into a color gradient effect seen in Baby Keem's Family Ties music video featuring Kendrick Lamar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.